Hello, Elizabeth Bolund. Hello, Rasesh Sanadin. What have you been uh, What have you been observing here? This is the salt and mineral lick yeah. that we put in here. Yes. Uh, quite some time ago. There's yes. also been some rainfall in between, which tends to dissolve it. But yeah. look, it's almost intact. They've been licking yeah. very little. Yes. So our hypothesis is that with all of this huge field, with all of this diversity of plants, where they're completely freely allowed to yeah. roam on their own. They can get uh, all of the minerals that they need from their food. Yeah. And if they feel like they're lacking some mineral, they would eat more of some species that's rich in that mineral. Yes, so. and we have been observing that they're actually almost always in a pack uh, together. So without being forced to be inside an electric fence, they are really together in a herd. They're over there now. And the second observation is that they actually roam all over the entire field yeah. for each day. Yeah. So they're doing some kind of a very selective grazing, we believe. Yeah. We haven't been able to observe them with cameras on their noses, but maybe next year we will. Yeah. But yeah, it seems uh, quite remarkable that they don't need the, to lick the mineral. Yeah, it's uh, a dramatic block. difference to when they were in the small paddocks. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. There they would just finish this easily in a week yeah. or less. Yeah. So it does pay to let them kind of be, be themselves in a much larger field, I believe. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, check out how the girls are doing up there now. <laughs> 